Hello and welcome to a new video about electrochromatics. This time with another control system, electromagnetic control system. I want to show you. Okay. Last time we talked about well signal overlapping, how to resolve the signal overlapping, position controlled uh, things. Now we said, okay, we not only want to have uh, position control, we also have want to have a certain amount of power, a certain amount of pressure applied. Here, this is how it can be done. Okay, I've already prepared this. I've drawn this chromatic scheme, electrical scheme, control scheme. Let's analyze. Okay, what we've got here is a 5 slash 2 way valve, again pre-controlled electrically, electrically, electromagnetically controlled yeah, with coils, with solenoids, solenoid valve. Here, this time I made a proximity switch inside and some material and the piston which can be detected by this proximity switch. This is this black or gray bar here yeah, inside the piston. So we are not advantage is that we not have to build something out there where the working zone is. We can stay at the cylinder and detect this, the position of the cylinder. And we said in most of the cases the position of the cylinder, the position of the end of the rod is the same. Yeah? Or something is really, really, really going wrong. Okay, and we additionally have a pressure switch here. Yeah? Pressure switch, 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 switch. Ay, 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 ay. Pressure switch. Yeah? In German it's called Zungenbrecher, tongue breaker. Not sure. Fischers Fritze, Fischt, Frische, Fische, Fische, Frische, Fische, Fischt, Fischers Fritze. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah? Pressure switch. This is a pressure switch. <laughs> Can be adjusted. Yeah? We've talked about this. How? to detect pressure with spring loads can be membranes and so on. Uh, so this will switch when a certain pressure has been reached. And this is the electrical control scheme. There's a button, probably the start button. If I press this button, let's see what is happening. Let's assume K1, uh, MM1 is inside. Yeah? This is our base situation. K1 is now energized by S1. If a K1 is energized, MB1 will be energized. If MB1 is energized, this will switch and we are going to travel outwards. Okay? I can then release also S1 because this is an impulse valve and yeah, will not go back. So MM1 is traveling no matter what. Whoop. Yeah. At a certain point in time, BG1 will be operated, now here BG1, this is now the proximity switch, so whenever this piston is cut coming to, into the detection area of the proximity switch, here we will get an impulse here, we will get a signal here, this signal will switch K2, K2 is switching here, and here K3 is not switched, so MB2 is not switched, yeah? so we will stay out. This is the second thing which will happen. I will draw it like this. However, after a certain time, yeah, MPP1 will have enough pressure yeah, that this PP1 is switching. Okay, So the pressure is applied here, we move and then we are, will stand still yeah, and the pressure will grow here until it will switch this pressure switch. And the pressure switch is then switching K3. K2 is already switched, K3 is then switched, and suddenly, after we applied a certain amount of pressure and therefore a certain amount of force to the piston, yeah, then MB2 will be energized, MB2 is energized, switching back, pff, traveling back, yeah. traveling back, that's it. This is how this looks like. Yeah. So I will, here I will indicate, yeah, here we will switch BG, BG1, okay, this will be switched. And I will also indicate here, 
here we are switching PP1 because then the pressure is enough. Uh -huh. And only if both are switched, yeah, we will, I will also mark this in, in blue color and red color here. Yeah. And only if both are switched, we will switch back and travel inwards. Okay. Of course, we have the same issue here with the, like with the uh, movement, uh, position control things. Yeah. We have signal overlapping. What if somebody is not releasing this button? Yeah. Then we have latest here, we have signal overlapping because then MB1 and MB2 are energized. We have learned the technique on how to get rid of this. Okay? <sighs> Pressure driven control. Also not too complicated, right? Last time, or last time, it is already, uh, was already there a long time ago. Uh, I showed you uh, a quite complex piece of logic. Yeah, I said, okay, maybe later we are, we are there to be able to, to read what is happening there. This is what we're going to try next video. Yeah? Next video, we're going to try to analyze the logic of these first electric control things I showed you some videos ago. Yeah. We'll be in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.